Go. Okay. Okay, Tommy, here's a, here's a kind of the idea that I'm thinking of. Is I've got this um, portable uh, sh wet dry shop back. It's a four gallon, five amp. Um, I don't know. It, it was about eighty dollars. Uh, it, the reason I, I went with this one is it's somewhat quiet and um, it's obviously pretty portable. Um, coming off the coming off the wet dry shop vac, the hose goes into a bucket. This is a two gallon bucket, um, and then coming off of that, this is half inch inside diameter pipe uh, tubing. That's the same diameter that the uh, high volume suction hose is. So um, I've put a gallon of water in here and we can start the timer I guess and we'll start suctioning this water up and see how quickly it goes. <laughs> That's a gallon of water. The beautiful thing about this setup is this is where the water is. There's no water in, the, in, the, in this container over here. This is completely dry. In fact, it's still got all the paperwork in it. So, um, I think this is the way to go. Now, the question becomes, I guess, do we have, um, you know, four or five uh, attachments into this, or we bring it out in one and then break off into four or five attachments. But um, this container can be open. We can also use five gallon buckets if we want to use that. I think a two gallon is probably sufficient because I don't think, follow me, that uh, I don't think that that was a gallon. Um, I don't think that we uh, are going to be sucking up a gallon worth of blood in saline or Paradex or whatever. Plus, we can stop and, and throw the stuff down the garbage or into the commode. So that's my recommendation. This isn't a bad one. It's a rigid, uh, portable vac. I got this at um, I got this at Home uh, Depot. Uh, WD forty seventy five. Horsepower, four gallons, I don't know what that, 15 liter, whatever the hell that is. I guess that's the gallons per liters or whatever. All right, that's my, my thought. Later.